Friends, welcome to my workplace for hands-on FACO and SICS training. This is a hard cataract with not so well dilated people. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at around 10 o'clock. And now, a side port is being made at around 1 o'clock. An air bubble is injected. Beneath this air bubble, tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. In this case, the pupil has dilated to about 4.5 millimeter and the cataract is hard. I am still thinking whether to use a pupil expansion device or not. I am thinking if I can do uh, an adequate size trixis of about 5.5 millimeter, I will try this case without pupil expansion device. As I inject visco, I find that the pupil has dilated to almost 5 millimeter and I can get a rexis of about 5.25 millimeter going underneath the iris at some places. Here it goes. And go underneath the iris at some places and thus I get a rexis of about 5.25 millimeter. So adequate sized rexis has been obtained and now I can try this case without people expansion device. The problem is as I start to chop this nucleus the size of the people will come down. Gentle hydrodissection is done, visco is injected and now I take two hooks and bimanually rotate the nucleus. It is rotating nicely and now I am going to try my submarine chop technique in this case. The exposed part of the FICO teeth is usually a bit more than usual cases. The FICO needle goes in with its bevel down. Some superficial lens matter is aspirated. And now I turn the handpiece and make the bevel up towards the cornea. Now with the chopper I push the nucleus little down, enter into the substance of the nucleus just in front of the main incision, go through the substance of the nucleus near the opposite equator and I use the chopper to get a good crack. I do not do lot of lateral separation. I come to the other side along the crack, I go to a deeper level, hold on him nucleus with the handpiece and use the chopper to separate the two heminuclei completely. Now I am dividing this heminucleus into three pieces. This is one piece and now I divide this piece into two and thus I get three pieces. With high ultrasonic energy, about 80 percent ultrasonic energy in continuous mode, I used continuous mode intermittently. Emulsify the nuclear pieces. I am very careful not to touch the border of the people not to catch hold of the iris tissue, keeping the teeth at the center of the people always. 
at this time I come out, cataract is hard, the visco is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. We need to apply in such cases toys. Now I rotate this seminucleus, orient it in such a way that I can manage it easily. Two small pieces is placed at the central part. Now I inject visco in such a way that these smaller pieces do not go to periphery. Now I go in and emulsify these two smaller pieces first. It is very important to emulsify these smaller pieces. Otherwise, they go underneath the iris and get hidden. Postoperatively, we may see them at 6 o'clock and they cause lot of corneal decompensation. And now I divide the seminucleus into two parts and each part is emulsified with ultrasonic energy. And this is the last nuclear piece. See, there is minimum chatter of the pieces. Use the foot switch in such a way that the pieces do not go here and there. Yes, the nucleus is managed nicely, the smaller nuclear bits is removed through the side port. We have only two side ports. And in such cases, when we cannot see the cortex, Simco is the best instrument. We can very gently go underneath the iris and catch hold of these cortex and remove it. With bimanual also it is possible, but I have only one side port and I have to use Simco or coaxial IA. Done. Nucleus is nicely managed. And see the size of the people after managing the nucleus and cortex. Size of the people is about 3.5 millimeter. So, though the size of the people at the beginning was about 5 millimeter after injecting visco during emulsification of the nuclear pieces and during cortical aspiration, it comes down. And now the lens has been placed in the capsular bag. And now I take the Simco cannula. No. Now I use a oil hook and check whether any cortex is there underneath the iris anywhere or any nuclear piece is there under the iris anywhere. Go through the side port and check the sub incisional area. And now I use the Simco cannula to remove the cortex. I go behind the intraocular lens, irrigate some PSAs and irrigate out all the visco that is between the posterior capsule and the intraocular lens. And now I use the bimanual irrigation aspiration for some time. Thorough cortical cleanup is done. And this is a bit of moxifloxacin. The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of this stab wound. 
and then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done and it is done with the simco cannula i use simco and many people ask me why i use it see simco is not a patented instrument of sics surgeons we can use it thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence